All right, so one of the most important factors affecting the velocity of water as it comes down um, a stream is its wetted perimeter. So the wetted perimeter is the area in which water is touching. And based on the shape of the channel, you're going to have a different wetted perimeter area with the same total area of same total volume of stream flow. So in these two examples, um, we have the top one where we have a wide shallow channel. And in this wide shallow channel, we have a cross-sectional area of 10 square units, whatever those units may be. And we have a wetted perimeter of 12 units. Down at the bottom, we have the same cross-sectional area 10 square units, but we only have a wetted perimeter of 9 units. So the idea is that the less surface area of stream bank or bottom that the water touches, the less frictional resistance the water will have, and therefore the more efficient water will move downstream. So if you're looking for a stream that's going to, that you want to speed up the water in, then people will try and make it a narrower, deeper stream. And if people are trying to slow down the water, then they'll try and cut out a wider channel. Um, again, messing with nature like that is generally um, not successful, but um, understanding how it works is how we predict um, these flood events, as well as, um, you know, make plans for drinking water, droughts, and, and other water management um, strategies.